hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to talk about classical MRP and MRP life so we are doing a comparison between the classical MRP versus the MRP life which is an S4 HANA now if you talk about the difference MRP life is capable of planning numerous materials for many plants and normally it plans for all MRP areas Whereas classical MRP comes with a complex set of rules which are meant for instructing the MRP run for either creating the purchase requisition or for planned orders for the externally procured materials. Now if you look at the GUI interface, this is the MRP live. The transaction is MD01N and we have the planning scope here. Also to be included in planning is another section. The control parameters are here now if we compare it with the classical mrp which we do with md01 or md02 the controllers are more in the classical way wherein we have the processing key and we have options of creating purchase acquisition attributes of uh, planning scope is more in mrp live whereas in classical mrp we just have two options so in terms of gui interface this is the basic difference between md01n and md01 if we talk about mrp list in classical mrp the mrp parameter create mrp list can be used to control whether MRP list should be created or not. Whereas in MRP Live, there are no MRP lists that are written by the MRP Live as the lists were intended for checking the MRP result. If you talk about scope of planning, the parameter scope of planning can be used to combine group of plants or MRP areas, where in the new MRP Live, the scope of planning is not supported. And the MRP Live can plan many materials in many plants and it will always plan for all the MRP areas. If you talk about creation indicators, the classical MRP has a complicated set of rules for instructing the MRP run in order to create a purchase requisition or a planned order for external procured materials. Whereas in MRP life, it always creates a purchase requisition for externally procured materials and schedule lines if there is a valid schedule agreement or source list and the MRP life also creates plan orders for in-house production materials. If you talk about opening period in classic MRP the parameter creation indicator for purchase requisition can be set as 2 that is purchase requisitions in opening period while in MRP live it doesn't consider any opening period. If you talk about planning horizon the MRP parameter processing key any TPL can be set on ERP systems, but it is removed in S4 HANA. So that's the reason in MRP Live it doesn't support planning horizon. So if you talk about processing key, the MRP parameter processing key can be set on ERP systems, but it is removed in S4 HANA. The indicator regenerative planning in MRP area replaces that parameter of processing key. So if you set this parameter, it would work similar like processing key any UPL in classic MRP. So if you talk about scheduling on ERP systems, if the MRP parameter scheduling is set to two, then it will support lead time scheduling, capacity planning, detailed planning, everything will be supported. In S4 HANA, only detailed scheduling is supported. If you talk about planning mode, the classic MRP decodes have three options for planning mode, that is adapt planning data, re-explode bomb and delete recreate planning data whereas in mrp live there is no planning mode planning mode one works different from classic mrp if we talk about simulation the t code md02 has two indicators that is simulation mode and display results prior to saving to simulate mrp t code md03 has an indicator display results prior to saving while in MRP life, it doesn't have simulation mode. If you talk about bomb components, the T-code MD02 can be used to run MRP for single item multi-level. There is also an indicator also planned unchanged components. While in MRP life, it has an indicator bomb components if components are also to be planned. If you talk about MPS planning, the T-codes MD40, MD41, MD42 can be used for MPS planning. However, these T-codes are obsolete in S4HANA systems. In 
एम आर पी लाइफ दी फील्ड मटीरियल स्कोप इज एडेड इन एम आर पी लाइफ एंड इफ इट इज सेट टू एस और ए दी एम पी एस मेटीरियल आर ऑल्सो प्लान इफ यू टॉक अबाउट स्टॉक ट्रांसफर मेटीरियल क्लासिक एम आर पी कैन यूज द फील्ड स्कोप ऑफ प्लानिंग टू प्लान बोथ सप्लाइंग प्लान एंड रिसीविंग प्लान वेर आज दिस इंडिकेटर स्टॉक ट्रांसफर मेटीरियल इज एडेड इन दी एम आर पी लाइव स्क्रीन टू कंट्रोल वेदर यू वॉन्ट टू प्लान मेटीरियल इन द सप्लाइंग प्लान ड्यूरिंग द प्लानिंग वर्क इफ यू टॉक अबाउट परफॉर्मेंस लॉग the report rmm dm oni and rmm dperf can be used to analyze classic mrp performance whereas in mrp live there is a new field that is called name of performance log which is added is in md01 and the performance logs can be later checked by a new t code that is md underscore mrp underscore perf log and if you talk about mrp controller user exit m61 X zero 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 one can be used to influence materials that are selected to be planned, whereas the fields, product group, and MRP controller are added in MRP Life. If we talk about user exit key, the user exit can be used to influence which materials are selected, which are to be planned in the classic MRP, whereas this user exit. is not supported by the t code md01 and the bapi can be the bapi can be used to implement own logic so that was all about classic mrp and mrp life if you got value from the video please like comment share and subscribe to my channel till we meet again in another video you guys take care goodbye